Hello, welcome back for the next video. I actually took the head off of my Perkins 4.248 because I wanted to inspect the pistons and the head and valves itself from the damage where the where the uh, the valves and the pistons uh, collided and looks pretty good there is actually nothing I could complain about it's cylinder 4 and cylinder 3 which where the push rods were bent and also on this one has been broke nothing out or something like that or looks like major damage looks everything quite okay so and on the head we got the same yes I actually don't have the best light over here but I will do fine with this Come on. yes that's that's the pity when you don't have a garage okay yes there has been some water inside this valve chamber and now we pull over this one here and does not look like so bad but actually only those two, these two cylinders are which were con I concerned about but I guess oh, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. they seem okay good just have to invest a new gasket and maybe I will hone these four because this one is the new one they remained inside and I think they will will get a home job okay that's for the moment yes camshaft is still, still in and uh, one thing now the push rods or the tappets are now better to grab I got here my magnets I want to show you my magnets I will strip them down here And you see that? I could grab that tap it. Yes, and that should be enough to to remove the camshaft without the need of removing the engine. Also here. You see that? Up and down. Yes, I guess this should work. Good, that's for today. I guess you enjoyed this video again. And you join me at my next video where I'm gonna remove this rotten camshaft and Assemble the new camshaft. I already got the new camshaft and the and the the two gears, the idler gear and the cam gear. Yes. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye.